Hundreds of thousands of workers who were essential during COVID will finally see a bonus check from the state. It comes after months of promises and negotiations. It's all part of a deal at the Capitol, which will also refill our jobless claims fund, so businesses are not on the hook for a big tax bill. Caroline Cummings is at the Capitol right now to explain what it all means. Hi, Caroline. Good evening, Frank. So it's been one of the issues stuck at the Capitol this session, but Republicans and Democrats struck an 11th hour deal just two days before the deadline for businesses to pay those taxes and several months after frontline, frontline workers were promised those checks. Came to a resolution that uh, we feel is uh, really quite good for the people of Minnesota. Republicans and Democrats bridged their divides and struck a deal for their two key they, priorities they've they been hashing out for months. So this is a really big thank you for all of those Minnesotans. Senator Karen Housley was part of a bipartisan work group last year that tried and failed to decide who qualifies for a bonus check and how much they'd get. The new deal doubles the original pool of money from $250 million to $500 million. And if every single person who qualifies, 667,000 Minnesotans, those checks would be 750 bucks. But they could be larger if fewer apply. The state will have an application process. They would much rather um, get uh, $750 checks for frontline workers than nothing. Democrats wanted $1 billion for frontline workers but had to compromise, though DFL House Speaker Melissa Hortman didn't hide that she was still disappointed. Absolutely, I'm frustrated. I, I can't imagine how um, Senate Republicans can look at our frontline workers and say that they didn't earn a $1,500 bonus. So who qualifies? Those who work in health care, long-term care, child care, school workers, food service workers, janitorial staff, and many more. Our goal is to get these checks uh, out and in the pockets of uh, frontline workers as quickly as possible. As for businesses, this deal is just too close to the April 30th deadline when taxes are due. The Department of Employment and Economic Development says it's too late for the agency to recalculate payroll taxes owed for the jobless claims fund. Businesses will see a credit for future taxes or they can apply for a refund. Now, Frank, as for what's next, sending those frontline worker checks and adjusting all those tax bills for those businesses that overpaid will likely take months. But before all of that can happen here, the Capitol lawmakers have to actually pass a bill, and that's expected to at least move in the Senate probably tonight and could be signed into law as soon as tomorrow. Frank. All right. Thanks, Caroline. We'll keep everyone posted. Do stay with WCCO. We'll, of course, have continuing coverage with less than one month remaining in the 2022 session.